Summertime is in full effect, and that means people are heading out to pools to cool off from the heat. But not everyone is as equally prepared to make a splash. The Center for Disease Control reports that African Americans ages 5 to 14 are three times more likely to drown than white children. But why is the gap in drowning rates so large? We stopped by a pool at the local YMCA in Atlanta to hear what staff members believe causes these shocking statistics. I think the primary reason why us as a community can't swim as well is because we have a fear that's been passed on from generation to generation. Whereas some other cultures, if the parent don't know how to swim, they immediately sign their kids up for swim lessons. We instill that fear in our next generations. The fear of water is not the only factor contributing to higher drowning rates in the black community. Many families do not have access to pools, while others simply do not have the time, money, or resources for swimming lessons. But regardless of race or expense, YMCA Aquatics Director Nehemiah Lamb explains why children need this skill. I look at it as a life skill um, because everywhere you go, if you think about it, whether you're on vacation, you're going for friends, there's always going to be water around. Um, you never know when you might be put in a situation where you have to help someone else. So I believe it's very important that you learn the very basic about uh, water safety. Now more than ever, these drowning statistics are gaining global attention and support. Just across the pond at the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, England, Cullen Jones is helping to decrease these rates. The professional swimmer, who almost drowned as a child himself, is now advocating for the importance of swimming lessons in minority communities. Whether children want to compete for gold or swim for fun, lessons will give them the skills they need to stay safe. Reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, I'm Leah Scruggs.